Hello there, this is Shadowbox, and I like compiled languages, static types and semicolons and all of that. And so when I learned that we would be programming in Python in school, a language that does none of that, well, I was slightly disappointed. I also programmed in Python previously for school, but we didn't go very much into depth, so we didn't even cover functions, or even begin to think about classes. So I wondered what I could actually do to learn Python. I didn't really wonder for too long on that idea though, because the idea came pretty quickly to make a game. So let's make a game about a game engine in Python. Now, I know I've just rolled the intro, but we have a bit more decision making to do before we jump right into this. Python has quite a wide range of libraries, and some of them are dedicated to making games. In particular, there's a really big one called Pygame, a wrapper of SDL, which is a popular library for making games, and I've never tried SDL, so I thought that could be interesting. Another thing I'd like to add is that being a wrapper, Pygame actually just runs a load of C code, so it isn't actually that slow. And this is a big benefit, because Python is an interpreted language, and it's generally held as being pretty slow, as it can't perform all the optimizations a compiled one can. But instead of Pygame, I also thought it could be a lot more fun using a less mainstream framework. I was pretty pinned down with choice at this point, so I spent a bit looking at my YouTube comments, which I do actually read by the way. When I've talked about making a game in another language, I've noticed people don't tend to say, make a game with Python, they say, make a game with Pygame. And so I decided that since it's so popular, Pygame must be pretty good, and went with that. So what game am I going to make? My idea initially was a kind of slow bullet hell with tanks, but that didn't really work out as you'll see in a bit. I quickly set up a Python virtual environment and got to work. The first thing I needed to do was to install Pygame, which you can do pretty easily through Python's pip command. And while installing it was easy, actually getting Pygame to run was really weird. Using some example code, I kept getting random errors and I had no idea what they meant. I had to solve the issue by reinstalling Pygame a load of times until it worked. After that though, we had a window open. Modern games tend to consist of a load of different entities handling a load of different things. And so the first thing I programmed was a basic entity system with a loop that will happen every frame and call an update function and a render function on all of the entities, which should basically cover everything I need them to do. To test that entity system, I coded up a little script that handled displaying a sprite as a background, which worked quite well, and so then I decided to work on a player character. Loading a sprite and manipulating it to fit the character was fine, but I faced a little problem when it came to implementing logic. As I was making a tank game, I wanted it so the tank could only move forwards in the direction of the mouse, but because the mouse isn't just horizontal or vertical, and it's instead a mixture of both, we have to employ some maths. This is quite simple maths. But for some reason, I just had a problem implementing it in Python. You can use cosine and sine to calculate a triangle, which you can then use to get a movement vector for your player to move along. But I did this wrong, and had to do a load of random hacky things in order to get it to work, which took ages. Once that was done, it was time to get working on the shooting. This meant I needed to program a little spawning system, and some collision and movement logic for the bullets. The movement for the bullet should have been the same as the movement for the player, and so I copied it over, and... It didn't work, and I had no idea how to fix it. There were points where it almost worked, only for the next shot to fire off in a random direction. This was so stupid that I almost considered scrapping the entire project. Python's lack of proper error checking was making things even worse, and I knew there was no chance of fixing it. As a result of this, I quickly pivoted my game idea to be a small timed one, where the player has to collect spawning balls which help them stay alive. For this, I could reuse most of the code I'd written, like the basic spawning and collision logic, and also the movement. All I needed to really do was implement health, a timer, and a game over system. This sounds easy, but Python wasn't so sure about that. I managed to make a little health bar and a timer thing, because that's just increasing and decreasing numbers, but it was quite hard making a system to handle game overs. Python doesn't handle classes very well, or at least the way I write them, so I assume this is my fault? But Making all the systems understand that the game was over was a disaster. I messed around with a circular import for ages while trying to get a static variable to work, and then for some reason, the variable wouldn't actually update. And everything was going really badly, because it was all tangled up in a spaghetti mess I'd created. After a bit, I somehow got it sorted, and the game could detect that the game was over. Once it was over, I can check for any input, and hopefully restart the game, which was another thing I programmed awfully. 
To restart the game, I just make new instances of all the classes, which seems like a really bad way to handle it, but it was the only other way I could think of doing it. And I suppose we've ended up with a product you can call a game. It's pretty boring, but it has most of the components of a game, so I'm counting it. I didn't really like making this, and I expected that I wouldn't, but now I'm a lot better at Python, so I should be able to stomp my computer science classmates, which is basically the end result I was looking for. So, what did I like about using Python? Well, installing packages is pretty easy, providing everything works normally. Setting up my development environment was super easy, and there was a ton of tutorials and a load of extensions for basically every code editor to support the language. Generally, the language is pretty easy to use, and it doesn't do too much weirdly. And the syntax is also pretty nice. On the other hand though, I found big scripts could often turn into spaghetti pretty easily, either becoming a hodgepodge of indents or just weird looking code. The multi-file workflow is good and bad at the same time, but I'd say generally it's fine as long as you aren't stupid with it like me. I can also see the performance tanking if you're doing anything complex with it though, because as it was, I was only getting enough frames to hit the refresh rate of my monitor. But realistically, Python isn't really intended for game development. Game development is really built around object-oriented code, because it just makes more sense in that context, and Python is just not up to the task as well as other languages you could choose. Now, I'm sure there are great games people have made with Python, but it has other uses, and that's really what it should be used for. So yeah, I don't really love Python, but I do love when you hit the like button on my videos, because hopefully, one day, my ego will be so big, I won't be able to fit into a shop to ransack them of skittles, and I'll have to do some exercise. Tell me what you think about the video in the comments, and if you have a bit more time, wishlist my game propulsion on Steam. Have a good day.